take. So this is a video of all the changes that I've made to Locomancer since I released the Handiwork update. I got some great feedback on that, and I've just been working on addressing all the different bugs and issues that people ran into. <clears throat> so first off, I've moved and shrunk the glove models so they now line up with the handle of the controller. Uh, this is more like Job Simulator does, and so you just sort of reach out and grab things as opposed to grabbing the way a hand normally would. Um, I've also added a highlight, as you can see right there, um, so that you can see what you're actually trying to grab. Additionally, when you grab something, the hand now disappears so that you can actually see the object that you're interacting with. <coughs> um, I have some tooltips which I will show how to hide later. Uh, I've added the ability to move the play area, which was kind of a request. Um, if your play area doesn't fit the default, then it makes it awkward to actually play. This will also potentially work for uh, sitting play. Uh, but so what you do is you grab the table with the trigger and then you press down on the touchpad and you can just drag the world around you. Um, so this lets you sort of reposition, it doesn't rotate, but it lets you reposition the room um, to better fit your play area or if you just want to sit in the same place you can do that. Uh, so I'm going to stand up now. <coughs> So I've also moved the save manager up here into this drawer. This drawer is temporary, but it works well for now. Um, so that it's not just sort of sitting right here all the time in your way. Um, but also, there are a few features in here. So someone requested the ability to turn down the light so that you can actually see the, uh, the lights on the trains better. Um, and it's a little more atmospheric. Um, and I've also, that's a little funky, um, I've also added the ability to toggle all of these text hints um, so that you, know, you can take screenshots or whatever without having all this text in your face and obviously you don't want to have a hand all the time. Um, <coughs> I have improved the screenshot brightness. Uh, they were really dark before and now they are actually accurately colored. Um, screenshot and it temporarily freezes the game for whatever reason I will fix that uh, it shows up the camera now has a sort of slot in this drawer that if you just throw it at it it will slot into place and stay there so it doesn't sort of fly around whatever <coughs> um, that's about all in there this is obviously work in progress so I've also added some new pieces one of them is a double wide turn that's twice the radius of the default turn and a double length straight which is twice the length of the default straight um, this lets you do big curves or longer straightaways without having to place every single straight piece um, <laughs> I've also added this double switch so that you can easily switch lines uh, have a train go you know cross over like that and probably the biggest improvement for placement well there are two one is duplication um, instead of pointing at a track and clicking the menu button you now grab it and you press down on the touchpad and then just copies it. I copied it too many times. Uh, cool. So a bunch of these now. I'm just going to reset this. <coughs> um, so that lets you sort of, you know, lay out a bunch of track really fast. Uh, <coughs> I also forgot to mention, I've simplified the interaction to only using the trigger and touchpad. Um, if you're not picking anything up and you pull the trigger, you point. If you point at something, you can interact with it. So let's say you have a switch. If you point at it, it will toggle the switch direction. You just have to point and click, and that's all you have to do. Uh, if you have a train, so yeah, grab a train. 
Um, that's another change I made. <laughs> things just, that you're carrying just go straight through solid objects. So if you have a train, you point and click at it. You are entered into ride mode. Um, <clears throat> those are really the only uh, interactable pointing objects. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're grabbing something, you, you generally have to pull the trigger and you grab it. Uh, certain objects, like the camera, have um, an additional function where if you are holding the camera and you press the, tr the touchpad, it'll take a picture. Uh, the remote, which is new, if you point at an object and you press the trigger, you'll actually take control of that object. So I can now... Can't hear the bell. Maybe it didn't actually work. There we go. Doing it live. Um, so yeah, the remote's new. You can now actually remote control trains like you used to be able to in the first few builds, but it took out in the handiwork update. It's now back. You have this remote, you have a brake, you have a throttle, forward and back, and you can change the direction the train will turn when it hits a switch. Um, let's see if I can just get a quick layout to show that off. What am I doing? And I was going too fast. Now I can control the train and drive off the track. Brake works. So that's the remote. Um, I forgot to add a ride button. So to ride, you still have to point at the train and click the touchpad. Um, <coughs> This stuff all works basically the same as the handiwork update, except now you have highlights and things you can interact with. But I've also added an eject lever because it was not obvious how you actually exit the train before. So now if you pull the eject, you leave the train. Uh, you may have also noted noticed that the train sounds I don't know why it's whistling right now. The train sounds are positional. Seems to think I'm still pulling the uh, whistle. I don't. Oh dear, ghost train. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that is basically it. I've added some detail to the room so it's not quite so bare. Um, obviously it's pretty basic. It needs some work, but it was just to give it a little more character than a blank gray box. Um, I've probably forgotten stuff, but you'll find it, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the update. Hopefully it doesn't totally break on you. Uh, yeah.